Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Black Panther leader issues Trump final ultimatum more racist whites in Georgia, Alabama, South Carolina are going to pay. The Black Panthers have been an organization for several decades. They came to prominence during the 1960s when the civil rights movement was taking place. Regardless, their group is still active and they are still doing work. While they have always been controversial one particular member's recent comments have people worried and for good reason. The Western Journal reported. The former chairman of the new Black Panther Party and current president of Black Lawyers for Justice demanded over the weekend that President Donald Trump provide reparations for slavery or designate Florida as solely for African Americans. PJ Media reported Malik Shabazz made these demands speaking at the National Black Men's Convention in Lafayette Square Park across from the White House on Saturday. We must have reparations, full compensation for the theft of our land, the theft of our bodies, the theft of our people from Africa, the theft of our dignity, the desecration of our souls decade after decade after decade after decade, the convention leader said. Shabazz continued, claiming to speak for African Americans, arguing rather than a government handout, we want our own. We want land. We want our own," the black leader proclaimed. You don't like us, Mr. Trump? Break us off some of this territory. You don't like us, Mr. Trump? You don't want to be around us? Then hand over the state of Florida. He went on to offer, if Trump, and presumably Florida's residents, did not want to give up the Sunshine State, then Georgia, Alabama or South Carolina would do. Shabazz argued proof of Trump's racism to be his suggestion last fall that NFL owners throw any son of ABH player off the field, who did not want to stand for the national anthem. Donald Trump, the black man is not a son of ABH, Shabazz said. He is the original man. He's the maker. He's the owner. He's the cream of the planet Earth, father of civilization and he's the god of the universe. He is your father, Cracker. Donald Trump, I'm your daddy, the conference speaker said. I'm your daddy and you're a child that's out of line. This is a child in the White House throwing a temper tantrum every five minutes, what kind of fool is this, unable to control his emotions?" Shabazz also chided former President Barack Obama for being civilized, courteous, and congenial, all while doing the white man's bidding. He did everything that white people wanted him to do. Kept a smile for you all the time, Shabazz claimed. Harvard philosophy professor Dr. Cornell West was another featured speaker at the Saturday's event and said he was proud to be asked to address the gathering. People ask me all the time, why is it that you spend time with the new Black Panther Party? West said at the rally. I'm not afraid of any movement because I know what I'm about. I know what my calling is and that is to tell the truth. When you're in love with black people, you have to tell the truth about white supremacy," he added, pointing at the White House. President Trump would never allow an entire state to simply be stolen and given to only one race. That is the epitome of racism and discrimination. I don't think that President Trump or anyone in his administration is scared of the Black Panthers' threats. President Trump will do everything in his power to protect the American people. When an organization is arguing that President Obama didn't do right by African Americans then you know something is wrong. Especially when they are arguing that an entire race in one country should be given one state. What happens to hundreds of thousands of people who live in Florida? Where will they go? What will happen to their homes? Will this mean that every race of people will be allowed to have an entire state to themselves? That isn't how this country works, like it or not. The Black Panthers' calls for slavery reparations are not a new request. Slavery reparations are the idea that financial and compensatory damages need to be paid to the descendants of African Americans who were enslaved by the Atlantic slave trade. Various organizations in the United Kingdom, as well as the United States, have called for it but nothing has ever been paid. However, what the Black Panthers failed to discuss is the fact that issues such as affirmative action have been policies brought about to aid in reparations. Considering the trillions of dollars this country is already in debt, to think that slavery reparations are going to get paid is pure lunacy. Nobody is going to allow for the spending of that money. Instead of focusing on the past what everyone needs to do is focus on the future and how we can all work to better that future. Whether it is for African Americans, Caucasian Americans, Asian Americans, or Latin Americans. This type of hateful and divisive rhetoric is getting nobody anywhere. Especially when they are demonizing both the left and the right of the political spectrum. Nothing gets done on the far right or left, real work gets achieved in the middle. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.